for a minute, for a few minutes. <laughs> Not absolutely silent. There silent. you go now. <laughs> go on, Jodie. I'd like to talk about what Alfie Bo does when he's not singing and he's not doing his day job. Snooker, pool. <laughs> Yeah. No, I do, I do, I do all sorts. I like lots of hobbies. I, I play the drums. I um, play pool. Yeah, I like snooker. I like a um, bit of football. Everything. I love to cook. I do love to cook. I don't know if I'm a dab hand in the kitchen. I make a lot of it up as I go along. And, uh, and a smile then. My full name is Alfred Giovanni Roncalli Bo, and Alfie Bo for short. We're, we're um, uh, Irish Catholic family, and, and my mother chose uh, the name of uh, Pope John the 23rd and named me after, <laughs> after him so I suppose I have a, a lot to live up to. Well I was actually born in Blackpool but the day I was born I was uh, shipped to Fleetwood, shipped to Fleetwood on, on the ferry which had just gone on the boat and then the sail that we were on. <laughs> Five sisters, three brothers and lots of nephews and nieces. I'm the youngest. The youngest of the whole lot, it. yeah. Well, we're all pretty musical, you know, we all like to sing and some play the piano and, and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, mate, they're trying to get straight to the island. There you go, perfect. Now, I was probably about 11 years old. My um, brother bought me my highlights album, La Boheme, and it was, a, it was a really cool recording. It was Sir Thomas Beecham, UC Buelling, Victoria de Los Angeles singing La Boheme, and, and I didn't really, I, I heard it and I didn't really know how much it was of an effect it was having on me. And um, it wasn't until I was about 19 that I heard the recording again and all these memories just flooded back. And it was incredible, it really was incredible to feel that, you know, it's like something had kick-started inside me. And then when I was working at the car factory, I was polishing this car and it, the guy whose car I was polishing was in the music business. He um, he heard me singing and said, "Look, you know, you've got a really a really cool voice. Why don't you try and uh, make it professional?" You know, and I said, "Well, I'd love to, but how do you go about that?" And he said, "Well, here's my card. I'm in the business." He said, "There's a company called the Doily Car that are auditioning in London, and there was thousands of people there for these open auditions, and I went up on stage and sang, and then they took me on." They offered, well, they asked me back for a second audition, and then from that they uh, they took me on. I went I went on a national tour with the with the Doily Cart. So I left my job in Blackpool and uh, started singing professionally. I was very very fortunate then. That wasn't half bad. I decided to that I wanted to take singing as far as I possibly could, and I thought the best thing to do with that is to, is to study and, and to to get a technique. Uh, you know, learn learn my trade. So I did. I went to the Royal College of Music, then on to the National Opera Studio, and from there I started work in the opera houses again. And part of my job description was to sit through the whole of this opera. And uh, at one of the intervals, I, I got up, ran across town to to Baz Luhrmann, sang for Baz Luhrmann, then ran back to see the second half of the of the of the opera. You know, so so. <laughs> It was a bit cheeky, but um, I did it. Opened on, on Broadway and we stayed there for about nine months. I got some really good reviews, they were really kind. I was always in Act 3, I was on this tower and I could look out into the audience and I looked down at one point and I could see Tom Hanks and uh, Pierce Brosnan and Sigourney Weaver and all those sort of people. And one of, one of the highlights for me was the chance to meet Sting. And then all of a sudden he just started singing. So I thought, I'm walking across stage in New York on a Broadway stage with Sting singing at the side of me and I just thought, how better can it get? You know, it was great. It was really nice. I'd, I won a Tony, so I was very fortunate there, very lucky, and I performed on the Tonys that night. And that's it on the mantelpiece, that sits along um, two other awards, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I've got an LA Evasion Award, uh, which I won when we took the show to LA, and um, uh, my uh, 100 metres breaststroke as well. That's, that's just ne that's next to that award too. <laughs> Beatles studio number studio number two. Abbey Road. Look at this. <laughs> Mr. Uh, McCartney's piano here. Mr. Lennon's piano. Ringo Starr's bed. I mean Pink Floyd did uh, Dark Side of the Moon in here. Peter Sellers did Boom Titty Boom Boom. Scylla Black's been in here. Alfie Bo's been in here. Not a bad little place. Look at this.
major to B major. Think of the history that's gone into this into this studio, you know, from all the all the people that have recorded in here and all the tracks that have been put down in history and, and just captured on disc on re on record even. <coughs> you know, it's incredible. So, where would you want to end up? Was that a? Was that a Oh. 